Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Welcome back to Let's Play Jade Cocoon, Story of the Tamamayu. Last time we got our feet a little wet and entered the Dragonfly fo Forest. Did I want to change familiars? Crap. I think I wanted to change familiars. Ah, dang it, I forgot. I think I wanted... I think I wanted an Earth Monster. I'm <sighs> sorry guys, hold on, let me go back and get an Earth Monster. I, I, I kind of want it. Also, I think I want my Fire Magic user instead of Paddle Chew right now, just so I can train it. <sighs> How could I forget these things? Dragonfly Forest is probably the is the biggest forest in the game, so uh, this one is going to be the longest one we are going to go through. Let's slip up Paddle Chew for Suave and Shrikarta for where are you, Tefray? There we go. Much better. And I think we'll be able to do a little better now. We'll be able to take on those those one-eyed Cyclops turtle things that can jump very high. And we can, we can get on our way. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. I did that off screen. I didn't merge anybody yet, so I'll, we'll do that in a big segment later. So far, we've got the frog, we've got the turtle thing, and we got the doggle. And we got the tsunami from the doggle, too. That was pretty cool. Look at that sword. Look at that sword whose name doesn't reflect what it does. I still haven't gotten a chance to use it because we're not fighting anything wind-based. Alright. Same kind of enemies as before. Here to Sog. I think these guys have an air version of themselves. Anyway. I might use the Hero Sog uh, when we're fighting the, the uh, boss of this... Dang it. This boss of this area. Just because uh, uh, it seems like he can do a lot of damage in a shorter period of time. As long as you can take one hit and switch out, I'm fine with that. Let's keep on going. We were exploring the left part of the Dragonfly Forest. Let's go continue that. We also picked up a spear, too, uh, but we're not using that right now. Spears are, my spears are probably my favorite weapon in the game besides swords, but of course I like the swords more because that's a personal preference. Um, Spears are probably the best weapons of this game, because the game gives you all the spears. So they're pretty cheap. You can... You can get... You can get a lot of them. We were just... We were just in there, so we need to go over here now. And avoid this... There is no avoiding this thing. Alright, there we go. Zulmuz. We've already captured one of these, so we just need to beat the heck out of him. This will be a good... Uh, chance for Terfray to take him out. Let's try using fangs. Yeah, I think we'll be able to handle this. Maybe. The uh, trick to this is, I guess, take out one of them very fast. There we go. One of them's dead. Now let's defend and get some mana back so we can blast through him again. Boom. That jump attack is just weird. Like, honestly, it just looks very weird to me. Alright, now we just attack with all our might. Wow, these guys have lots of defense. Maybe they have very weak magic defense, who knows. Maybe I'll try magic next time. But we bodied them, so we're good. Level up! Oh, two level ups! Wow. Sweet. Yeah, those guys will be great experience later. So over here, we got nothing down there but a Zulmu. I don't, it doesn't look like there's any chest in there. So we're gonna skip that. There's no chest in there. Odd. Yeah, they changed some stuff around. 
Alright, here's the spiraling circle that goes down. We all know where this goes to. I wonder if the rooms are already open, or do I need to use the dragonfly switches to open them again? We'll see. Ah, those drums in the back. So good. So good. I really wish I had the pale moon. That would make killing those zill moves much easier. Oh, no skeleton key here. Sucks. Ah, look at these dudes. Oh, look, it's a salamander. It's called a genwi. Alright, let's see. Alright, now we have no way to kill this doggle. Hmm. Well, first let's capture this genwi. Take out this gene we and capture him and make him our own, make him our friend. Ooh, he makes the uh okay. Another one that does this, okay. Cool. That's weird, his hands didn't glow. Oh well. Let's just go and get Levant out here. Ha! That doesn't do anything to me, silly, because I don't use magic. Alright, let's capture this dude. Now what is difficult about this is that, because you can't go back to Old Forest, it's a little bit harder to level grind. And what I mean to say is, if you, if you saw earlier, my Svav is level 11. These guys are level 15. That is actually a significant difference between us. It's going to be difficult. So let's see, who can fight? Not Mardrag. Oh, Mardrag seems like the best bet. Oh my goodness. You know, let's try something. I want to try using the Ring of Venom, because I have one. If I can poison it, maybe we'll save a chance. Nope, did not work. Oh dear. Actually, it looks like we can stand a chance. Let's try that. Eat this! I want Svav to get the experience from this, so this is why I'm doing it. Seems like we can attack twice. Awesome! Ugh. I'm gonna have to equip the Nagi belt. Ow. This is so, this is not something we'll usually do. I do not condone fighting by yourself. Um, not even with powerful weapons, because obviously you are the most precious thing. And if you die, it's all over. So I uh, just just making sure we all understand that this is a one, maybe one, two time thing. Ow. That's one thing I really didn't like about this game. I mean I like it and don't like it at the same time. I like how it makes you focus on the power of your buddies and stuff like that. Ooh, let's see. Makes it easier to kill two-legged enemies and slightly more difficult for them to score a hit. Well, he is on two legs. Let's start breaking them. Oh, yes. Does that mean his legs are broken? Oh, maybe, probably not. Alright, let's try just using Agony. Agony. There we go, and now he's dead. So I think we'll level up from this, at least maybe once or twice. Okay, four times sounds good to me. Any complaints? Anybody? No? Just not me? Okay, cool. Let's go over here and see what else we can find. These three rooms must have something in them. Besides this guy. A genie and another doggle. Eat this! I 
I kind of need that mana. Oh well. Oh, that punch hurts so much. Alright, down for the count. Let's see what we got here. I guess Fav. Break his legs. Ah, I missed. Let's try it again. Alright, his legs are broken now. Ow! But he's breaking my split he's breaking my spine. My my solar plexus. You can't keep a good man down. Ow. Maybe you can. Retreat. Why is this awkward? Um let's just fight then. Hmm, now I want to have a water dude. This is kind of conflicting, because, I mean, you can't have more than three elements. And I don't like making hybrids. I really don't like making hybrids. It's not worth it. Not even 50-50. It's not. It's not worth it. I remember in my first time I ever played this game, I made a dude that had all four elements, so it was 25% everything. He sucked at everything because he didn't specialize. Everything did major damage, everything did meteor. It, it was like, you're not strong at anything, not bad at anything, therefore you're not good or bad. Alright, nothing in here. But a secret passage to the warp that doesn't give us anything. Okay. After we're done this, we complete. That means we've ex completely explored this one area. So fine. Actually, no, we haven't. Crap. Ah, it's gonna be another long one then, because I don't wanna. I don't wanna make you guys wait too long for this. Save point over here, and voila, the skeleton key for this area. And in the third door, what do we have? Maybe the chest? Nope, just a uh, sneak attack. Okay. You know, I really don't want to fight you guys right- Crap, I can't run. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just- let me just use this. Get the heck out of here. Screw you guys, I'm going. Ah, dang it. Come on, run before the dog can punch us. Yes, there we go. I'll fight you guys some other time. Not now. I'm definitely gonna need to come back and get the other versions of these monsters later. I might do that off screen, maybe. Because I do need to come back to this cavern, and I don't want to make you guys come back with me, so. We'll see. I mean, the first time we went through the Dragonfly Forest, they just kind of automatically changed color. I guess this time I'm going to have to make them work for it. Alright, there's a whole other wing to this area, so let's go look for that and see if there's a chest there. You know, I do like how we have footstep sounds. Having footstep sounds just adds to the ambience. Some games don't have footstep sounds anymore. I miss that. The sound of your footsteps just makes it more dynamic. Already went through there, already went up here. Already went through that one. That's where the poacher was. And over here, we'll find a dude that doesn't like us. Oh, but he's only one dude, so we can take him out. Ow. Let's try, let's try fighting. I guess the recommended level for this area is probably 18. Judging that, uh, I usually judge this by three levels higher than the enemies in this area. So it should be enough. Now who do I want to take the killing blow for this? Swab, I want Swab to take the killing blow.
Now break legs basically reduces their speed, if I didn't explain that clearly enough. It reduces speed. Ow. Alright, let's go, Spav. Now how do I do this? We suck at normal attacks, but maybe if we use a fang attack. Nope, not even enough. Ow! Maybe an Agni. There we go. I like it, it looks kind of like he's a mummy dragon, anyway. Alright, leveled up. That's exactly what I wanted. And there was nothing in here. Alright, cool. Um, that means... That means we're done, right? I guess so. Okay, so we'll go to the next area. Let's take a little bit of a look. We have, we have some time left. We can do this. I honestly don't know what I should be bringing. I know what I should be bringing for the boss, but for the area itself, it's hard to tell. Let's go up here, and... Oh, Doggle, why are you there? Oh, you're only level 14. Hmm, who should fight you? I guess I'll just let Tifraid have this one. Let's try Ad Venon. Nope. No, it doesn't work. You know, I've always hated that about this game. Status effects are hard to inflict on enemies, but on you, it's so easy. Like that time with the death spell. I didn't get to do the death spell on anybody. I haven't tried, for good reason. Critical hardly ever works. I mean, I know the chances are the same, but it's, I mean, it's obvious. The enemy gets more chances to do that stuff to you. Which is kind of a bummer. It really is kind of a bummer. But I suppose that's how it's always been. Even in Pokemon, it's been like that. <sighs> Don't even get me started about Viridian Forest. Freaking Weedle. Suppose you just have to use the power of the human mind to get through. Anyway, take that! We will be dumping Turfraid later because he's Earth, but I do want to power him up. Because we know that the next boss. The next boss is gonna be Earth, and he's gonna be making the uh, um, he's gonna make the environment favorable to Earth, which means we're gonna want him. We're gonna want him to use Earth. Same goes for these dudes. I'm not quite sure what I'll do, but actually, I probably won't use this guy at all. There is no water trial. Alright, cool. And the next one. So it looks like we really didn't get much done today, and I apologize for that. Uh, we fully explored the left side of the forest, and we found a key. And that's really all you need to accomplish there, besides uh, finding those salamander-type monsters. Oh wow, he's just guarding- wow, look at him. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a little mean. Alright, well, next time, we'll continue on. This is SteamWorld27, wishing you all a brighter tomorrow. Have a good day.